Have you ever heard that if you threw a penny off the top of the Empire State Building, it would kill someone? Let's use physics to prove why it's wrong. The height of the Empire State Building is 443.2 meters. Pennies, we know, have got a mass of around 2.5 grams. So we can use that to calculate what is the speed right at the bottom and what is its kinetic energy. To calculate speed, we use an equation v squared equals u squared plus 2a. V is the speed right at the bottom, U is our starting speed, which will be zero because we're just dropping it, it's not moving at the start. A is our acceleration due to gravity, on Earth is 9.81, and S is our height. When we plug in our numbers and rearrange for speed, we calculate the speed of that penny is 93.25 meters per second. So now we can calculate how much kinetic energy the penny would have at the bottom. To calculate kinetic energy, we do one half of its mass times by its speed squared, but its mass has to be in kilograms. We plug in our numbers, we then calculate that the kinetic energy of that penny would be 10.9 joules at the bottom. What does this mean? We can compare this energy to the energy of a baseball. So if someone was in the major leagues and threw a baseball at around 94 miles per hour, and the mass of a baseball is around 142 grams, we can calculate its kinetic energy. Kinetic energy then comes out at 125 joules. So we can see the kinetic energy of a penny is 10 times less, so very unlikely to kill you. However, a penny won't even reach 93.25 meters per second. It'll go much slower than that because the penny doesn't accelerate the whole time. It doesn't keep increasing, increasing speed because we know as things get faster, air resistance increases. Follow me for more physics content like this.